Hello everyone, my name is Kajori Kudo and welcome back to part 2 Nowhere update. Um, before I start exploring the new update, uh, I just want to say my condolences for everyone that is expecting the Jojo collab. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are not getting that, so yeah. Uh, to be fair, they never actually announced it in the live stream or anywhere, so... I think people just have really high expectations so yeah it is what it is it's an unfortunate I'm, I'm sure people are sad about it but okay well we just need to have to accept that uh, but at the same time I would like to invite everyone to rejoice because we got the new eternal nightmare now you might ask me the question why we should rejoice I mean like it's just eternal nightmare right sure it is but what if I tell you that this new eternal nightmare we got it voice day one whoa i know right we got the eternal nightmare day one i mean like seriously the last two eternal nightmare they usually um not voice and then they're gonna update it on later update usually when the new eternal nightmare gonna come out they're gonna update it okay which is what happened with the heart of eternity we just got updated i think last week right so i think we should be happy for that and honestly i would consider it as uh you know i don't i thought was the word it's not exactly replacement but you know compensation at the very least that that i's not doing this kind of thing in return for we are not getting the jojo yeah so it's something that at the fair list we can be happy about okay so let's go through the what's new in this new update other than the new eternal nightmare being voice right we got of course we got the new characters uh which is hestia and jane so you know we're gonna go through them we start from uh from hestia which is an arcane I think she's an arcane yeah she's an arcane sinner and we're gonna go to her kit okay so as usual she has like the m value uh mechanic like the other you know immortal so this time um when she's enter the corruption state her attack is gonna gain by 80 percent and her m value is gonna raise every time someone do the burn to an enemy so it's kind of like drea in in you know it's very similar with drea technically yeah Incre increase attack when 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 she's on the corruption state pretty cool pretty straightforward her mania intensifies magic damage is increased by 15 percent so it's she's like she's like really focused on damage on this one but it kind of kind of makes sense because she's not really a breaker either so uh her, her auto attack is actually pretty normal nothing special in her auto attack she just deals magic damage her ultimate ignitious illumination now this is when we got like a lot of attacks here okay so she gives a fiery halo to up up to two enemies on the field prior enemy with the lowest hp who don't already carry a fiery halo applying a burn mark every second for five seconds when the enemy dies disappear the hello will be transferred to another enemy and is the effective time refreshes hmm i just wondering like if you have like for example you have five seconds on one enemy and then that enemy die and then it transferred to the other enemy and he give you another five seconds so i'm just wondering if in a situation where we are fighting against a small fry or like small enemy we just die really quickly isn't it gonna like keep refreshing endlessly because it's gonna like keep transferring to the new enemy it's interesting honestly i don't know if this works but maybe it will be the case so each enemy can carry only one fiery hello up to six fiery hellos can exist on the field simultaneously it and it can char charge up to twice for this ultimate which is nice okay energy speed uh during the corruption state their energy recovery speed increased by 30 percent so i think they want us to like spamming ultimate as fast as possible i mean like the cost is really low already right the cost is really low already and you can charge up twice something 
and plus with the energy recovery speed they want they want you to make sure that they we can spam this really quickly i don't know how good it is though so far it's like okay i would say now the first passive is uh, Hestia stored the total damage that all burn marks present on the field are supposed to deal during their effective time and remove the burn mark. She then condenses it into a fireball and shoot it at the nearest enemy dealing stored value times 30% magic damage. If the enemy carries a fiery halo, the fireball deal deals extra damage back basically. And if you are on the corruption state, it's gonna give you an extra damage again. Okay, that's interesting. It's basically like the opposite of Drea, where Drea is basically like a copying one um, life loss and then spread it to everyone. This one seems like to take away all the burn and focus it on one to one huge damage. My question is, how do how do I trigger this? It doesn't explain when she gonna do this, like every few seconds or what? I don't know. It's not very clear, I think, at the very least, or maybe I'm missing something, but yeah, it's not clear for me for this part. The second passive is when an allied sinner applies a burn mark to an enemy, the allied sinner gains 55 magic penetration. So this is like uh, for burn team, so this one only useful for burn team, I guess. Similar to Yao, second passive is kind of similar in increase the burn team damage. Yeah. So far, I don't see it. Uh, so far, I don't see any use of her outside the burn team so i don't know shackle one the viry hello and active period plus three seconds when applying or transferring viry hello deals has the attack times three percent magic damage to the enemy getting the viry hello okay steam seems okay shackle one shackle three furnace flame fireball zone value increased by 18 percent is this one the one that she go she gather all the burn mark the burn mark and then you know shoot in one huge fireball but again i still don't know how to trigger this so i'm not sure i think shackle one is worth it kind of i'm not gonna after it though yeah <laughs> no so uh exclusive crime brand new exclusive ultimate wild fire deals attacks magic damage and one core damage to enemy within a single grid transfer the nearest fiery halo to the enemy currently with the highest hp within the skill range so most likely it will be transferred to boss. This skill is very good for if you wanna target the boss. Yeah, just in case. If I'm not wrong, the Viery Hello is target like someone with the lowest. Yeah, with the lowest HP who don't already carry a Viery Hello. Well, there's a lot of question with her. To be honest, I don't understand that much. So let's just give it a try. I think they're gonna give us Tissel and Yan Yan. It is all it is, okay? To fear. Oh no. To show you the way. Is she gonna be like the new daughter? No need to come along. I can handle it. Yeah, she's really fast. Oh, the question what am I supposed to do? You want to give this Oh it's effort Oh okay. Whoa, it does quickly mate. See it, it gonna keep transferring. See this, see this. So it kept transferring. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that! Yeah! Burn to ashes. That's what I'm talking about just now. Like when the enemy is so weak, it's gonna gonna transfer endlessly. You, you don't you don't even have to do anything. Holy <sighs> I think it's I think she's really good. Um if the burn team already have Yao as like the you know or the burst damage i think she's gonna be really good for um wave clearer i would say all right so um let's go to jane so jane is the air rank she's a reticle um a senior adept at fighting flock of enemy deal five percent more damage this is new flock of enemy i think it's a group of enemy many intensify deal 15% more damage to enemies without any core so again I think she's gonna be more focused on wave clearing auto attack Jane attack with a grenade launcher <laughs> did she literally use grenade launcher since the very beginning firing a grenade at the target grid each time when the grenade lands it deals 
physical damage to an enemy with hint the single grit. So it's like an AoE but it's single grit. Uh, the ultimate mayhem bomb. Jin automatically cuts her ultimate when her energy is full, so it's automatic. You cannot timing that. Her normal attack change to Jin type two shell. When the grenade lands, it deals physical damage to an enemy within the three times three square, counting as normal attack. Okay, so so it's upgrade to the normal attack become AOE three times three, and deal more damage basically. Wave clearer in it, so it's really nice because at, at least. Uh, for the remnant of the dead, I can see I use them. I use her on remnant of the dead. You know, do you know like one of those buff when you have to use like one, two, or four reticle to gain the full buff? She can be the she. She kind of can be like the uh, wave clearer. Um, passive one when dealing damage to the enemy for the first time, additional deals attack. I uh, additional deals additional damage, counting as normal attack damage. Okay, cool. For the first time only. Hmm, okay. For each enemy Jane type two shell hits. Okay, but so by the way, this is the passive two. For each enemy Jane type two shell hits, the damage dealt to that enemy increased by fifteen percent, up to maximum of forty percent. So the more uh, enemy on the single grid, the more damage it is. Okay. Cool. Shackle. Shackle two. The effect of criminal part Petition also applied to Jane One Shell. I think this that is the this one is it? Oh, this one, the one where um, the more enemy you hit in one grid, you're gonna increase more damage. And then Shackle Four for each enemy dead on the field, recover one energy can be triggered up to three times per second. Yeah. So the idea, I think, for wave clearing because technically, you know. If she kills a lot, or, or maybe like a lot of uh, enemy die, she gonna her ultimate gonna be like keep charging. Wait, what's the cost for her ultimate? Fifteen, fifteen. That mean that thing gonna charge like immediately. Now attack increase by ten percent when releasing my aim bomb and an additional gen type to shellish fire. That's pretty straightforward. I love the art by the way. She looks so cool. So just let's give it a try. I'm guessing that we're gonna face a lot of um, a horde of enemy here, and she's alone. Let me be clear. If you insist on putting me on the battlefield, I can't be held responsible if anything goes haywire. But this grenade launcher is that small. She doesn't need anyone because she's gonna obliterate everyone, literally. Automatically use. S do you see the ultimate just keep increasing now? Oh, it's only one time. Oh, it's only one time. I just realized that. Do you know? Do you know what? I get it wrong because I thought it's gonna be like Nox when they're gonna, when she gonna enter that mode for like ten seconds, but apparently she gonna do it one time. <laughs> so, so just one shot. Okay. Shots. I get the wrong impression. But well, that's basically Jane. I think like, I think that was like the easiest suspect person ever. <laughs> I don't even need to do anything. Okay. All right, let's go to what what else? Um, of course we got new pack. Yeah, if you care about this one, just buy it. But what most important, what more important is actually the new skin. We have new skin for Cal. Cassia, got it. I forgot. <laughs> for Cassia and a rerun for Raven and Langley. So all the mummy skin is here. Make sure you got it. I think Langley is the only one that is three star. The other two is like two star. Okay. Um. Other than that, I don't think we have anything else. We have, of course, we have like new interrogation for Jane and new mirage for hestia i think you will be able to unlock it as soon as you um, finish the eternal nightmare unlike unlike interrogation where they're gonna hold it like on later that or on later date <laughs> sorry for my pronunciation duh uh and then something that not actually was informed on the game it's actually this one so for the six from the 6th of august to the 8th we're gonna receive this 100 stamina 
I think they announced it on the social media like Twitter, Facebook or any other social media. They don't really put it in here. I don't think so. I don't I don't I don't, I don't think they put it in here. So make sure for that 3 days yeah, you online and to claim this 100. <gasps> I almost pressed delete <laughs> and claim this 100 stamina, okay? Right. So that is all pretty small update, I'll say, but I'm looking forward with the new eternal nightmare. Okay, and so let's just close this video with the pulling session. Oh, hope we're gonna get it soon. First pull. I, I'm surprised that I already have Golan rerun already. Okay, are we gonna get it on the first pull? Nope. Because because with the Jojo is not getting uh, not coming to global. Um, the distance between the CN and global is actually become like right now, maybe like become two months. I don't know if they're gonna like cover it with other event or something. I don't know, but for now, I'm thinking we're probably gonna get anniversary early. I don't know. Don't take my word for it. Okay. Therefore, I want to save Hypercube as much as possible. Oh, could it be? I'm just gonna after for shuckle one for this one only. Stargazer! God damn it, I, I think I almost have shuckle 5 Stargazer. God damn it, mate. I'm okay with that, but I don't think I even used Stargazer. Shuckle 5! Maybe shuckle 4. So that's the, this one is third pull. Still not getting anything. God damn it. I hate it when I lost 50 50. <laughs> we all are, aren't we? Oh! At the very least, it's not, it's not that many pull. We got Jane though. Do we get Jane? Before? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you did she just swear? I didn't even day? know she did that. And welcome to Hestia. Luckily, we got it on the fourth pole, and I got two S rank with Stargazer duplicate. I've been waiting for you. I have a feeling that she's gonna be like the new. Oh shoot! I have a feeling that she gonna be the new daughter. Let's check it. Stargate, goddamn Stargazer. Okay, Stargazer, Shuckle Fall. <laughs> oh my god. How many gin did I get just now? One. Only one? I think I think I want four. I want Shuckle Four. God damn. Then we had Golan. Oh, not this one. Golan is his one. Ooh, this is gonna be the shuckle to Golan is probably gonna make weak spot even even you know stronger. Do we have Garufano? Okay. Where is it? Why so confused with the menu? Okay, I, I I didn't realize that I basically prolonged the video. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. But well, basically that's it. I wish you all luck uh, for everyone that's pulling for Hestia. For new player though, I would very much recommend it to hold your pull because we we don't know the schedule yet. I think the second anniversary is gonna be very very close. Regardless, it could, it could be like still the usual three months from now. Or maybe become too much, I don't know. But I will still recommend for a new player to actually save it because Hestia gonna be like reliant very much on the burn team. So you gotta need more multiple sinner to make her like actually work very well. And I would rather you to just after for Shalom or Zero. Yeah. And go all in during the second anniversary, like for real. Okay. So yeah. Anyway, uh, that's all the video. I will see you on the next video. Okay. Bye-bye.